students let us look at uh, some more properties of uh, inverse trigonometric functions first sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 when x belongs to closed interval minus 1 to 1 okay proof of this result i take let sin inverse x is equal to theta this will imply according to the definition x is equal to sin theta x is equal to sin theta now i want to write sin theta in terms of cos theta in terms of cos how can i do that sin theta can be written as cos of 90 minus theta or cos pi by 2 minus theta x is equal to cos pi by 2 minus theta sin theta i have replaced sin theta by cos pi by 2 minus theta now according to the definition cos x equal to cos pi by 2 minus theta from this we can write cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus theta cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus theta bring that minus theta to LHS bringing this minus theta to LHS that will give you theta plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 I have brought minus theta to LHS so we have brought theta plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 what is theta? what is theta? theta is sin inverse x so substitute this value of theta here in this equation that will give you sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 x belongs to closed interval minus 1 to 1 this is one result sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 whenever x lies in the closed interval minus 1 to 1 ok now let us look at the second result tan inverse x plus cos in cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 tan inverse x plus cot inverse x equal to pi by 2 for any real values of x x can be any real number the proof is very similar to the previous proof that is I will take this tan inverse x as theta let the tan inverse x is equal to theta then according to the definition this x will be equal to tan theta tan inverse x equal to theta implies x equal to tan theta okay. then I would like to write this tan theta in terms of cot as we know cot 90 degree minus theta is equal to tan theta or cot pi by 2 minus theta is equal to tan theta so I am replacing tan theta by cot pi by 2 minus theta so we have x is equal to cot pi by 2 minus theta this will imply pi by 2 minus theta is equal to cot inverse x pi by 2 minus theta equal to cot inverse x take minus theta to rhs that will give you pi by 2 is equal to theta plus cot inverse x now what is theta we have taken tan inverse x is equal to theta so replace that theta by tan inverse x we get pi by 2 is equal to tan inverse x plus cot inverse x that is exactly what we wanted to prove we wanted to show that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 ok let's look at the next result Secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x 
is equal to pi by 2. Whenever mod x is greater than or equal to 1. See, in earlier uh, properties, uh, whichever uh, involved second inverse x or second inverse x, uh, I wrote uh, x belongs to minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity or I wrote x greater than or equal to 1 or x less than or equal to minus 1 or I wrote x belongs to set of all reals except the open interval minus 1 to 1 and this these are all one and the same when I write mod x greater than or equal to 1 its meaning is either x greater than or equal to 1 or x less than or equal to minus 1 these all these give you the same meaning when we write mod x greater than or equal to 1 its meaning is either x is greater than or equal to 1 or x is less than or equal to minus 1 in other words x does not take any value between minus 1 and 1 ok now coming back to this problem so we want to show that second inverse x plus second inverse x is equal to pi by 2 in their respective domains the domain is uh, this itself is the domain ok proof let second inverse x is equal to y then this will imply x is equal to secant y then secant y i will write it as cosecant pi by 2 minus y cosecant 90 minus theta is equal to secant theta so secant y can be written as cosecant pi by 2 minus y this will imply that cosecant inverse is is equal to pi by 2 minus y according to the definition cosecant inverse x can be written as pi by 2 minus y now bring y to LHS we get y is equal to sorry we get y plus cosecant inverse x is equal to pi by 2 y plus cosecant inverse x is equal to pi by 2 what is y? y is secant inverse x so you have secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x is equal to phi by 2 whenever x belongs to minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity ok so after these three results let us look at the, the next set of properties tan inverse x plus tan inverse y x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus x y tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus x y whenever x into y is less than 1 this is true if the product x into y is less than this we have to prove now. We have to show that tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy. Proof. I will take let tan inverse x is equal to a and tan inverse y is equal to b. I will take tan inverse x as a and tan inverse y as b. Then this will imply that x is equal to tan a and y is equal to tan b. Tan inverse x is equal to a and tan inverse y is equal to b. That will imply x equal to tan a and y is equal to tan b. Okay. Now I would like to find out tan a plus 
electric tan A plus B. As we have already learned that tan A plus B is equal to tan A plus tan B divided by 1 minus tan A tan B. You know this formula. tan A plus B is equal to tan A plus tan B divided by 1 minus tan A tan B. Okay. Now, this is equal to tan A plus B is equal to tan A plus tan B. I will replace tan A with X. We have here X is equal to tan A and Y equal to tan B. In place of tan A, I will write X. In place of tan B, I will write Y divided by 1 minus tan A into tan B. Tan A is X, tan B is Y. Okay. So, here we have got tan A plus B is equal to X plus Y divided by 1 minus XY. If tan A plus B is equal to X plus Y divided by 1 minus XY, then we can write A plus B is equal to tan inverse of X plus Y divided by 1 minus XY. Look here, tan A plus B is equal to X plus Y by 1 minus XY. Therefore, A plus B is equal to tan inverse of X plus Y divided by 1 minus XY. Now, what is A? A is nothing but tan inverse X and B is tan inverse Y. In this equation, I will replace A with the tan inverse X and B with the tan inverse Y. We get tan inverse X plus tan inverse y that is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy. This is precisely what we want. We wanted to show that tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy. That is what we have proved now. This is true whenever x into y is less than 1. Okay. Now, we have proved tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus xy. Now, let us say what happens to tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. Tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. That will be equal to tan inverse of x minus y divided by 1 plus xy whenever x into y is greater than minus 1. Tan inverse x minus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x minus y divided by 1 plus xy whenever x into y is greater than minus 1. Okay. I will prove this result. This proof is very similar to the previous proof. Okay. So, like what I did in the last proof, here also I will take tan inverse x is equal to a and tan inverse y is equal to b. Tan inverse x is a and tan inverse y is b. That will imply x is equal to tan a and y is equal to tan b. x is equal to tan a and y equal to tan b. Now, I will consider tan a minus b. Tan a minus b. Tan a minus b, this is equal to tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b. This is a well-known formula which we have learned in our first previous day. tan a minus b is equal to tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a into tan b. Okay. Now, tan a minus b is equal to tan a. What is tan a? x minus tan b that is y divided by 1 plus tan a into tan b which is x into y. Tan a minus b is equal to x minus y divided by 1 plus xy. This will imply that a minus 
b is equal to tan a minus b is x minus y by 1 plus x y. Therefore, from this we can write a minus b is equal to tan inverse of x minus y divided by 1 plus x y. Okay. Now let us replace a and b with the tan inverse x and tan inverse y. As we already know, initially we have taken tan inverse x as a and tan inverse y as b. So let us replace this a and b with the tan inverse x and tan inverse y respectively. That will give us tan inverse x minus tan inverse y that is equal to tan inverse of x minus y divided by 1 plus x y whenever x into y is greater than minus 1. This is exactly what we wanted to prove. Tan inverse x minus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x minus y divided by 1 plus x y whenever x into y is greater than minus 1. 